Good day viewers, welcome to another episode on Grammar Genius with me, Imran Sidi Ahmad. In today's episode, we are going to look at the aspect of adverbials as modifiers. Uh, in this session, we'll be learning the following definition of adverbials. We're going to know the definition, what are adverbials. Then we're going to look at the types of adverbials and their functions, such as adverbial of time, adverbial of reason, adverbial of frequency, adverbial of manner, adverbial of place, adverbial of purpose, adverbial of condition, adverbial of degree, adverbial of certainty, and finally, adverbial of comparison. So now, what are adverbials? All right, the definition of adverbials. What are adverbials? Adverbials basically are words uh, used in a way to kind of add more meaning, more information to verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. All right, they tell you how things are done or how things are happening. All right, and um, in this definition, for instance, adverbs are words that change or add more information to verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs in a sentence. You see, they are helping us understand how, when, where, or to what extent something happened or is really happening. I usually tell my students that adverbials serve as what? Uh, makeup. All right? Makeup, when I say makeup, I mean like makeup that women apply on their faces all right because they beautify our statements sentences all right so that's the uh, function of adverbials here now for example in a sentence she quickly ran she quickly ran quickly here tells us the manner in which she ran which is quickly or in a fast manner all right so you see quickly here is modifying adding more meaning all right to the verb run telling you how she ran all right good in that order so now let's begin with adverbial of time adverbial of time um Adverbials of time are modifiers that provide information about when an action occurs, all right? They specify the timing or duration of an action or event within a sentence. Here, what we're trying to say is that certain words will tell you about the timing of the event, all right? Like, for instance, this adverbial of time usually is being introduced by the following words such as yesterday, tomorrow, soon, always, during, in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, etc. Words like this. Let's have sentential examples. She will come for her daughter tomorrow. She will come for her daughter tomorrow. She will come for her daughter tomorrow. Tomorrow signifies the time, all right? The time she will come, the day, right? Tomorrow. Yesterday, I completely, yesterday I completed all my assignments. Yesterday, I completed all my assignments, or I finished all my assignments. Yesterday, not today, not tomorrow, not in the evening, but yesterday. I completed all my assignments. We often go for a walk in the evening. Here it can be said often or often. It's free variation. Whichever one you use is accepted. So we often or we often go for a walk in the evening. You see, the time we go for a walk is not in the morning, not in the afternoon, but rather in the evening. So these are some of the examples of adverbial of time. Now, adverbial of reason, telling us what? They answer the question, why? Why are things happening? Why did this happen? Why is that happening? All right? 
So adverbial of reason, also known as what? Causal adverbial. What is the cause? Why? It's a type of adverbial phrase or clause that provides information about the reason or cause behind an action, all right? Event or, situ or situation in a sentence. So now, it is usually introduced using the following words, such as because, since, due to, all right? As a result of, on account of, etc. Adverbial of reason is being introduced using these kind of words. For example, she went to the gym because she wanted to stay healthy. She went to the gym. Why? Because she wanted to stay healthy. You see, because here is telling you what? There is answering the question why she went to the gym because she wanted to stay healthy since it was raining they decided to stay indoors all right you can also flip the sentence to be they decided to stay indoors since it was raining so here it comes in the beginning of a sentence all right since it was raining they decided to stay indoors so this is the reason why they stayed indoors since it was raining the road was closed as a result of the accident why is the road closed because of the accident as a result what of the accident you see as a result of the accident reason why the road was being closed so now we we'll move on to what? Adverbial of frequency. Frequency means what? The, the It indicates uh, how often an action happens or takes place. All right? So adverbials of frequency are modifiers that indicate what? How often an action takes place. They convey the regularity or repetition of an action within a sentence. All right? It's happened once, twice, thrice. In the order this adverbial of frequency is usually introduced using the following words like often or often rarely weekly daily once in a while every or every other day etc sentential examples he always sings in the shower he always sings in the shower meaning what when someone is taking a shower in the bathroom maybe he always sings the moment he gets into the shower he starts singing so always you see the frequency all the time here they rarely visit their grandparents they rarely visit their grandparents all right you know not much really they seldom do it not all the time not frequently but rarely once in a blue moon see frequency i check my email inbox every hour i check my email inbox every hour the frequency here all right good let's move on now adverbial of manner manner how you do thing how something is done all right or in what manner something is being done adverbials of manner are modifiers that describe how an action is performed they provide details about the method style or way in which an action is executed within a sentence now we are going to see the words all right introduced using this manner like carefully carefully quickly quickly quietly happily like a professional in a friendly manner etc she danced gracefully on the stage she danced gracefully on the stage you see this signifies the manner in which she danced all right gracefully he solved the puzzle 
quickly and accurately. He solved the puzzle quickly and accurately. Quickly, very fast and accurately, you know, neatly. Good. They played the music loudly during the celebration. They played the music loudly during the celebration. How did they play the music? Loudly. It was very loud, audible enough. This is mana. Now, let's have the adverbial of place. Adverbial of place. Adverbials of place are modifiers that indicate where an action occurs. All right. They specify the location or position of an action or event within a sentence. So now they tell you where a particular thing happened or something is taking place, all right, or an event. It is usually introduced using the following words, such as here, all right, there, nearby, in, under, on, beside, etc. Examples. The treasure, all right, the treasure is buried here under the big oak tree. The treasure is buried here under the big oak tree, all right, here under the big oak tree. All these are adverbial of place, this here and under the big oak tree, all right, adverbial of place. We met at the cafe around the corner. We met at the cafe around the corner all right cafe around the corner all right the place cafe around the corner right the children played in the park all afternoon the children played in the park in the park all afternoon where did they play in the park all right where did we meet all right we met at the what cafe around the corner hmm? Where is the treasure buried? Bur buried here under the big oak tree. All right. So all these signify what the place, the location of the adverb, right? Adverbial of place. Location. So now we're going to look at the adverbial of purpose. All right. This also answers the reason why. All right. It tells you why something is being done all right so they reveal the intention the goal or the objective behind an action within a sentence it's usually introduced in the following words like to for in order to within the with the intention of so that etc these words introduce the adverbial of purpose Example, she studied hard. Why did she study hard? To pass the exam. She studied hard to pass the exam. See, this is the purpose of her studying hard, of why she studied hard. I bought groceries so that we can cook dinner tonight. Why did you buy the groceries? So that we can cook dinner tonight. You see, answering the question, why? I bought the groceries so that we can cook dinner tonight. You see, purpose. He worked tirelessly in order to achieve his goal. He worked tirelessly in order to achieve his goal. See, why did he work tirelessly? In order to achieve his goal. So you see, purpose. Adverbial of condition, all right? This adverbial of condition is given a condition or a rule that unless something happens, all right, or unless something is done, we cannot do this or this will be done only and if after this is done. For example, adverbial of condition are modifiers that express circumstances, all right? See, adverbials of condition are modifiers that express circumstance or condition under which an action takes place. They clarify the condition that must be met for an action to happen within a sentence, just like what we have just said. It is usually introduced using the following words. If, 
unless provided provided that in case as long as etc see these are the words that introduce adverbial of condition example if it rains we will stay at home the condition of us staying at home depends on whether if it rains see if it rains we will stay at home which means if it doesn't rain we'll go out right unless you finish your homework you can't go out like you are talking to your child unless you finish your homework you can't go out if your child wants to go for a play outside the house maybe you give a condition that unless you finish your homework you can't go out she'll come provided that she's feeling better she'll come provided that she's feeling better right see she'll only come if she is feeling better right provided that she's feeling better she'll come yes so adverbial of condition so now we we'll move on to adverbial of degree all right adverbial of degree adverbial of degree adverbials of degree are modifiers that indicate le the level the extent the intensity of an action or quality they provide information about the degree of an action or attribute within a sentence to what extent this is it to what extent has something happened or is something happening all right the intensity the gravity of the intensity of what is happening it is usually introduced using the following words very extremely moderately all right quite absolutely partially all right the degree examples she sings very loudly she sings very loudly the degree the extent intensity he is quite intelligent he is quite intelligent meaning what he's intelligent like somewhat intelligent all right somewhat intelligent yes it's too cold to go outside it's too cold to go outside meaning what the weather is cold is a cold chilly weather for you to go outside so now we move on to adverbial of certainty now what are adverbials of certainty all right here adverbial of, adverbials of certainty are modifiers that, that convey the speaker's level of confidence or doubt regarding an action all right speaker's level of confidence right for example this certain this certainty is usually introduced using the following words like certainly definitely maybe probably surely doubtlessly all right etc for example certainly i will help you certainly i will help you certainly i will help you all right the confidence that surely i'll help you right perhaps he will come not sure right maybe and maybe not perhaps he will come she definitely passed the exam with full confidence with full assurance she definitely passed the exam see certainty all right she's certain less certain here also with full assurance right now we move on toward the last aspect which happens to be what the adverbial of comparison all right from the name comparison meaning what you're going to compare between two things or two objects or two elements in a sentence it is usually introduced using the following words such as like unlike as more than less than similar to etc for example she runs faster than me she runs faster than him sorry she runs 
faster than him, all right? Z faster than, right? Comparison between she and him. This book is as interesting as the last one. This book is as interesting as the last one, all right? Comparison between this book and the last one, all right? As interesting as what? The last one. They earn more money than I do. They earn more money than I do. You see, more, they earn more money than I do, all right? Than I do. More than I do, all right? So, this is it on adverbials of comparison. Now, let's move on to quiz. I have some sentences here for you to analyze, all right? To determine which type of adverbial modifier is used in the following uh, sentences. All right, go through these uh, sentences, all right, and uh, write your answers in the comment section. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, contribution, observation, please do write them in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the double. Thank you very much. Goodbye.